Can't do it no more, can't do it no more, can't do it no more And I can't get away from hoes And I got sit up on my plate And I got feed all my bros And I got feed my kids It's your boy, D.K. Spazzin, man And I'm back with another video That's a little bit windy today But I'm on the 750 I gotta adjust this helmet, man. I'm riding with my uh, Atlas 4.0, my Rural Rock helmet, Atlas, my Rural Rock Atlas 4.0 helmet. And I think I got all the vents open right now. I need to close it. That way I can cut down some of this wind noise. But, hey, man, I'm sorry for the delay of the videos, man. It's been one hell of a week, man. It was my birthday week, man. My birthday passed on uh, the 26th. And, uh,. That was really the, pretty much the only pretty day out the whole week for me to ride. And it's been raining all week, man. So, but it's a beautiful day outside. So, Sunday, fun day, man. It's the day to ride, bring y'all some content. So that's what I'm going to do because it's been over a week, man. And I know y'all boys been waiting patiently for a video and I got you, man. What I'm doing right now, man, I'm on the way to my uncle's house. He wants some pictures taken at a couple little spots. So that's what I'm going to do. I told him I was going to do it for him. So if I figure why not do it on the bike, get his uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max a shot, man. See what it's capable of. You feel me? I don't know this router that's in front of me, but he, he waved at me before I pulled out my street. So. You know, we cool little Roddy, you know, you know how it is. But yeah, man, uh, update on the, on the Jixxon 750 since I put the stretch kit on there and the more Mafia tune, Cat Delete, M4 Slip On, Exhaust Pipe. The bike runs fantastic, bro. I have no issues at all, man, at all. The bike runs good sounds good it is it's, it's more snappier on the throttle it's it's everything i can ask for bro and i'm gonna be honest man it was worth every penny i put into this bike was worth every cent of it because one the cosmetic stuff i put on here the bike looked fantastic m4 slip on exhaust for performance and sound both knocked out the park so i have no complaints there stretch kit good i haven't had any loose bolts god forbid god forbid i look anything go loose but i will be tightening them up uh, you know gradually as i ride <sighs> So I have no complaints with this bike, man. It hasn't, it haven't, it hasn't gave me any problems. Knock on wood, God forbid as well. But so far, man, six months, I believe I had this bike. I believe six months. No, that's not a, that's not a jigsaw. That's an old BMW. That's a BMW. The six months, five, six months I had this bike, man. I have no issues. I changed my oil change. I changed my oil and oil filter once I got to about 20, 2,500 miles or 2,200 miles from the dealership. I did an oil change and I did an oil filter change and that's about it, bro. Everything else on this bike is the same. The only thing I got done is the ECU flash and tone by More Mafia, M4 slip on exhaust, the shorty version, cat delete and uh, extension kit, uh, um, extension kit, boat on extension kit for stretch my bike a little bit. And obviously I had to get a new chain as well. I went with the EK 3D black and gold chain. I'm gonna check and double check my phone and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back in this video. Because don't make, if you go for the stretch kit on this 2022 Jixxon 750, I didn't know much about the chain. Like 
I didn't I didn't uh, look into the chain size. I figured it was gonna already send me the right size when I went to my bike. Cause it, I did the filter on the website for Rivzilla. Well, I don't think I did the first time, but you can put a, you can put the filter in there for what bike you have, exactly what bike you have, and it's gonna give you everything for your specific model. When I bought my wrong, my first chain, I didn't do that, and I bought and I ordered the wrong size. I ordered the wrong size chain, so that was a waste of 300 bucks. I didn't send it back because I had already cut it and everything, so it was nothing I can do from that point. Hey, boy, that's the Jixxer. I like that, man. I like that, man. That's clean. I knew that was a Jixxer. It looked like a BMW. But as far as when I, when I bought the wrong size chain, and so I ended up, I already cut it because I had to cut a couple links off for my bike to fit, you know, the, the amount of stretch that I wanted to get. So, it was no way of me returning, so I was stuck paying an extra 300 and, and something for my, for my bike, man, which I, I mean, for my chain, which I didn't even, wasn't even the right one, so, honestly, man, I, I got, I forgot, I think it's a 525 version, man, I believe, oh, and I needed a 530, something like that, but I'm gonna check and see what it is, and I cut, I think I cut, like, three links off and it was a 150 link so honestly man i have no use for it so if y'all coming down below on this video and if y'all want it i'll ship it to you man all you got to do if you don't mind just pay, pay for the shipping and you can have it i mean i'm giving you a free chain so you know paying for the shipping shouldn't be that shouldn't be a problem you know I'm giving you a free $350 chain, and I already did the adjustments for you on the link, you know what I'm saying, so, but I have no use for it, and it's just going to sit there, so I might as well, you know, give somebody a blessing, I never thought I'd spend that, spend that much on a damn chain, <laughs> but you got to get, you get what you pay for, man, and, I, and one thing about me, especially when it comes to toys, man, I never... Never ever cheap out man, on your bike, man, or any toy specifically, even your car. Like, don't be cheap, cause all it's gonna do is break even fast. You're gonna end up spending more money. You want your, you want your, you want your vehicles to have longevity. You know what I'm saying? When you get out the shower, you're not putting dirty drawers on. You know what I'm saying? So treat your bike and your car, whatever it is, the same way. I like my GoPro. If y'all notice, my GoPro is sitting kind of high right now, but it's the only way I can position it on this helmet until my actual GoPro mount come in for this specific helmet. 
it's sitting up right it's sitting up kind of high and it's like it's not in my field of view but like i still see it at the bottom of my eye i don't like that
Appreciate it.